It's a cold, chilly night in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but things are heating up inside the PPG Paints Arena, as Penguin watchers, young and old, pile in, still looking for an empty seat or two. Tonight, we welcome you, yes, you, the viewers, inside, as the St. Louis Blues and the Pittsburgh Penguins meet for the first time this season. Hi everybody, welcome to Pittsburgh, he's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Stavolsky. Ray, Sidney Crosby's changed a lot of the conversation, but this city still reveres the iconic Mario Lemieux. When Mario was drafted first, he saved the franchise. Later on, when he retired, he did it again as he bought the team with a partner. And then they got lucky and they got Sidney Crosby too. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. The Blues take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Slides the puck over. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. He scores! Jumps right on his own rebound and puts it in the back of the net. Bang, bang, shot off the goalie. The puck falls down and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound and he puts it in. St. Louis talked about wanting to take the home crowd out of it. Mission accomplished early. People aren't even in their seats yet, James, and it's one nothing for the road team. Moves it quickly over to Gensel. Takes the feed. Puck grab by Saad. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Scooped up along the wall by Crosby. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Rust. From the slot, fires yeah. away. Dismiss that chance. Yeah, I hated when I missed chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Latang's made this part of his game. He levels his opponent here. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 the score. Setters jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. St. Louis steps inside. The Blues gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Nice zone entry from the middle. And it's a quick pass to Gensel. He scores! You keep chipping away, and you hope to get to this point. Oh, man, you just love playing with a guy like this. The passes are hard and flat. They're right on your tape. I played with a couple of them. John Anderson back when I was with Hartford, and then Alexei Kovalev with the Rangers. They could drop it on your tape from anywhere. St. Louis has won the draw, and they take possession in the neutral zone. And that's a smart heads-up play by Carter. Matheson's lugging the puck. Gains the zone through center. And he takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Bennington's able to make a save look really easy. Now he doesn't have to deal with the rebound either. Moving into the attacking zone. And no luck on that pass attempt. Moves it to Kapanen. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Puck picked up by Shen. And now he passes it to Krug. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Takes the feed. Turns it aside with the glove. Well, I wanted another look at this one, James. I thought in live time, the goalie didn't touch it, but that's just a piece of the puck turned away. Great stop. Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. And it's kicked away. And that's poked away by Tarasenko. Sends a pass over. 
Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Rings the bell off the post. The Blues have had nothing but bad luck. Another one. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Blues gain control of the puck. And that's off a stick. Into the offensive zone. Change lines! Change lines! St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Get it out. Sends it over to Thomas. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! Gets a glove on it to make the save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The replay will show some pretty good fundamentals for the goalie here. You don't use the stick save very often, but that's a save selection used well there. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Takes the feed at the point. And that's knocked away by McGinn. And they'll dump it in. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Takes the pass from the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Taken by Bruger. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, the oh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got to let go. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Pittsburgh's gone in front here in the opening frame. Seemed like this game was going to be deadlocked for a long period of time. That's a little bit of a quick strike. So we'll see what they do with it. Quick pass to Perron. And that pass can't connect. Sends it across the ice. Now he takes it over the line. Receives the pass. Taken along the wall by Rust. Here's a short pass to Gensel. Perron's got it in the defensive end. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Puck scooped up by Gensel. Blocked in traffic. Wax it into the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Scoops up the puck behind the net. Quick feed to Latang. From center, they get into the attacking area. Moves it quickly over to Rust. Made that stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. That's a pretty good save, James. Just a piece, and I guess enough to keep it out of the net. More than half the period left to play. The Penguins have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Picked up along the boards by Cairo. Buchnevich has got it on the offensive end. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. All quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck. Shen's got it in the offensive zone. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Across the line from center. Takes a shot. And that goes off a player. Pushes it across to Kairou. Pittsburgh's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And puts it on the fourth story. And fires that one a little high. You know he's trying to get it right up under the bar. But the net's going to have to be a lot taller for that to be a factor. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And now it's grabbed by Zucker. Snaps one here in the slot. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. St. Louis swings the puck from the back of the cage. The Blues have it now. Moves it to Bozak. That pass doesn't go. 
came up with the save on that play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Make a save. Cuts to the paint. Quick pass to Friedman. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Taken by Aston Reese. Wrist shot from the slot. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Great poke check on the reach. St. Louis has possession of the puck. He scores! The captain leading by example! I don't know if this is the hardest shot ever, but this is a quick release. Beats the goalie low glove side. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We got a tie game. O'Reilly's won the draw. Walman's taking it from his own end. Dishes it to Saad. Looking to set up offensively. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Simo. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. They go on the attack through center. Puts it on that. Oh, and he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Picked up along the wall by Saad. Walman stick handling in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Perron. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Jari's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. O'Reilly's quick draw zone ability means he's good in those faceoff matchups. Crosby's got that beauty backhand zone ability, guys. That backhand shot is hard for the goalies to track, and he uses that to score. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Gaining momentum along the wing. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. The Penguins take it across the line. Slides the puck over to Costin. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick feed to Thomas. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Puck grab by Crosby. Penalty coming up. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Delayed penalty, goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out there. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. Costin's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Too late to the player. Once the puck's gone, you gotta let him skate. The Penguins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First chance of the night for the power play. The guys are pretty excited to get out there and see if they can get on the board. Puck picked up by Falk. And they get the puck out. Slides the puck to Matheson. Moves it quickly over to Kapanen. Back at the point, they set it up. And he makes the save. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Second look at a pretty good scoring chance here. I don't mind the shot. It's just the goalie's in position to stick it aside. Rodriguez will look to win the draw to continue this power play. The Blues win the draw. Trying to clear the puck. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Oh, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Sookers carrying it ahead. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up.
O'Reilly's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Blues win the draw. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. And a successful clearing attempt. The Penguins have it behind the cage. Looks to pass it to Kapanen. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. How do you try sometimes the worse it gets? Maybe just make the simple play, and you'll probably advance things a little better. Sooker's got it along the boards. Has one over. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Ten seconds. Costing's up at the box. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Pittsburgh's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Oh, I really like the penalty kill there. They were on the same page almost all over the ice that entire power play. The game stays tied because of their fine work. Moves it to Shen. Oh, denies them with the paddle save. Jari's able to hit. And we got a leader as he tucks it into the net. These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. That pass is perfect. I mean, James, I think you could probably receive that thing. It's right in the middle of the blade, flat and crisp. Off they go. He picked up an assist because of his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability, guys. He can make those firm and accurate passes, and he helped the team get that scoring chance. Puck scooped up by Pedersen. We'll get a face-off, and some lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. Late goings of this period. The Blues are looking to build on this one-goal lead. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. Quick pass to Saad. Handles the puck. Oh, that's a big-time save. I think he got him with a toe. Smothered that in close chance. Jari's a little bit fortunate there. He makes a terrific stop, but he just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Makes the save! I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. <laughs> St. Louis wins the draw. Pedersen's got the puck in his own zone. And that's off a stick. Here's a short pass to Barbashev. Great defensive effort with the stick. Pinned up along the boards. And just like that comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. I don't think anybody's more excited for the end of this period than the goaltenders, and there's the horn. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. You're watching the NHL on Spino King Sports. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. St. Louis has possession of it now. Slides that one right across the blue line. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. We're still in the early stages of this period. 
The Blues are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. O'Reilly's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Can't find his man. Takes it across the blue line. Here's a shot. Oh, what a great oh, save by oh, Bennington. Oh, and the goalie covers up for the whistle. Bennington's ability to get back into plays on display there. That was a pretty good deke, but he gets back for the save. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Let's one go and makes the save. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Oh, fantastic save by Jury! And there's the whistle on the heels of that save and the puck going out of play. Shen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that's poked away. Oh, a clutch save! I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but... Not to be. Grabbed along the board by Pareko. Turns it aside with the glove. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Jari's made a great save here. That was a dangerous play. Lots of time left in this period. St. Louis is in a dogfight. They're clinging to this 3-2 lead. Pittsburgh's got possession here in their own end. Great reach with the poke check. Sends it over to Rust. And now he angles it across to Crosby. Gains the zone on the left wing. Snaps it onto the net. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. The Penguins take over on possession. Nice pass. And that one's turned away. Oh, they do it again. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Change up, change up. Costin's got it across the line. And now it's over to Barbashev. Couldn't complete the pass. Into the attacking area from the left side. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Get out of there. Quick feed to Folk. Moves the puck. Gains the zone through the middle. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Bennington's probably had a few saves tonight. He's felt better about than that one. But he got just enough of it to keep it out of the net. Face off looming as both centers get into position. The Blues win the faceoff. Can't get it to go. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. They've got numbers. Battle along the boards. Great four check by Kapanen. Quick feed down low. Gets in front of it. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Stretched all the way out, just gets a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Blues have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. And now it's grabbed by Falk. Sends the pass over. Takes the feed. The Penguins grab possession to the puck. Taken by Pedersen. With some open space at center. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Perron. Now a quick pass to Crew. 
St. Louis is in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Stones up with the blocker. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And makes the save. Up along the wing. Let's it fly. Oh, what a stop by Bennington. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Here's a chance behind the net. Stones him in front. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. And now he moves it to Saad. Broken up in the neutral zone by Simon. Saad's gonna play it against the half wall. And that's picked off. Pittsburgh's got it across the line. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Bennington's on top of that deke by the shooter. That was a pretty good one, too. I thought he had room, but a good save beats him. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, St. Louis leads it 3 2. Pittsburgh's won the faceoff. And that one's broken up. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. A chance right in front. Blocker save, and he's showing up big time tonight. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Passes ahead from the right side. Comes up with the stop. Scrum ensues along the boards. St. Louis has it behind the cage. Slides the puck over. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Hangs onto the puck. Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. This is how you create the offense. I mean, you can't be digging the puck out of your skates all day. Tape to tape, off you go. They can't recover defensively, and it ends up in the net. That was a great example of how he can use his superstar ability to generate some offense for his team. He picks up the assist, and his team puts one on the board. Thomas wins it. Moves it quickly over to Tarasenko. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Stays with it. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. From the place 99 made famous. Gobbles the puck up there with a the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, St. Louis continues to lead by a pair of goals. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Zucker. Pass to Kapanen. Puck grab by Marino. Shot with the stop. Bennington's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. Quick shot! That's kicked away with the pad by Jari. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Here he is in front, and that's broken up. St. Louis plays it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. Can't connect! You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. Goalies work on this all the time. We get a look in the highlight how they angle the puck off the blocker away from the net. Here in the back half of this period, the Blues have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Puck picked up by Pedersen. They fight for it along the boards. Looks to make a play over to Gensel. Pittsburgh's moving it into the offensive end. Here he is, shot right in front. Oh, it goes right up the post. The Penguins have been clawing and trying to get themselves back into the hockey game here. This shot hits the pipe and won't go in for them. Picked up along the wall by Gensel. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Puck scooped up by Bozak. Back to the blue line. Let's it fly. Denied by the goaltender. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. 
The Blues pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Keeps the hold of it on the play. Pedersen's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it to Bluger. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Skates across the blue line. The Blues take it along the wall. Great reach by Shen. Scooped up along the wall by McGinn. And that's intercepted by Kairou. And they won't connect on that one. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. Pittsburgh's gained possession. He was totally locked in on that play. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And that's intercepted by McGinn. Let's it go from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Gains the zone from the right side. And that's knocked aside with the stick by Dumoulin. Works it across to Heinen. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Simone. Tosses it to Rodriguez. From the opposite point. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Through center along the wing. Cannon of a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Kapanen's got it into offensive territory. And that banks off a stick. The Blues gain possession. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. Here's a shot. Snake with the glove by Chari. Gensel's disappointment is obvious. This is a good shot, a really good release, and you get nothing for it when it hits the pipe. Just here in the late stages of this frame, St. Louis has been the more impressive squad tonight as they have a 4-2 lead. Feeds the puck across to Zucker. Across the point. Scooped up along the wall by Kapanen. Can't finish! Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. Aaron pass, and the play is broken up. Takes the feed. Carter's got it along the wing. Maintains possession. Here he is with the backhander. Blocked in front. St. Louis plays it along the wall. And now he angles it across to Tarasenko. Here he is, wrists it on net. Oh, how did that stay out? What a toe stop on the play. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Beatington's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Oh, he just got enough of that one to turn it aside. The centermen glide into position. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Falks gaining momentum, throws it in. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. From the left wing, takes the feed. Skates to the crease, in close. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck, in close. He takes away any room. Little bit of an old-fashioned stick save here. That's a good scoring opportunity that's turned away. The Penguins win it. Sends a pass over. Broken up with a stick in the defensive end. Takes a shot. Scores! And on the backhand, they don't miss that. Such a tough shot for the goalie. He's so good at this. He can get the puck on his backhand and deliver it so quick, the goaltender never seems to be ready. Beats him here, and it's on the board. He's so good at this. That quick delivery off the backhander beats the goaltender clean. That's a good shot.
Going to the backhand is always a gamble, guys, because we know the player has less control on their shot, but he makes it look effortless with his beauty backhand zone ability, and it's just so effective. Just like that, he put one in the back of the net. What a shot, guys. Kasper's got possession of the puck. And now it's over to McGinn. Takes the pass. Receives the pass. St. Louis is across the blue line. Quick pass to Bushnevich. And with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. You gotta look at it from both ways. That's a real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. St. Louis has added themselves a huge insurance marker here late in the second. They can't get comfortable, however. There's still lots of time left, but they've done a really good job to earn this lead. Knocked away. Well, not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end. At least they'll get a breather here. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Here are the current standings in the Central Division so far. The Blues are clinging on to second place, hoping for that sweet playoff spot, as they trail behind the Nashville Predators and with the Colorado Avalanche on their tails. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Penguins can't get any shots on net. They're pretty fortunate that this is still a close game that they trail in. Answered the call there. Quick shot. Denies him again. I love the way that he's in position, and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. Russ trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming, but man, does he get leveled. Lots of time left in this period. St. Louis leads by a pair. They're up 5-3. The Blues win it in the defensive zone. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. And now he moves it to Saad. Handles the puck. Here's a shot. Misses over the net. Oh, and a smart heads up play. Here's a short pass to Perron. Centering pass. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Kairou. And another stop! Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. From the left side, they gain the zone. From the slot, denies him! They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. She's on the replay here, James. We see what a good scoring chance this is, but that's a really good save. Yeah. 
Shens won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Krug. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bushnevich. Pass back to the point. Bolt's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. O'Reilly's an important piece to this power play unit, guys. He's got that zone ability, and it could really be the key to get things going here and give them the advantage. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And that's stopped by Jari. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Quick feed to Kairou. Off the tip. Oh, the blocker was right there to come up big by Chari. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. You get a look in the replay how quickly the goalie has to be ready to face this shot. It's delivered very quickly. It's got good velocity, but the positioning allows the save. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. O'Reilly's won the draw. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. And he denied that opportunity. Jari's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Bluger's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Blues will go to work here in the offensive zone. That's blocked. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Grabs the puck here in their own end. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Shoots it. That's turned away with the pad by Bennington. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Taken along the wall by Marino. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Dumoulin's up and ready to join the play. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Good work by the killers here. They give themselves an opportunity as giving up another one would be almost a death blow. Aston Reese plays it now. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Puts it on goal. Oh, great glove saved by Bennington. Hey, getting another look at that one, James, right here. Look at that save. Just a piece, just enough to keep it out of the net. Still lots of time left in the period. No shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Nice zone entry from the left. The Blues carry it along the wall. Moved in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Chari. And after that save, the puck skips out of play. And we'll get a face off. Jari's blocker comes into good use there. Good positioning, and he's able to deflect it away. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Turn that one aside. Yeah, it did, James. You can hear that funny sound when the puck hit his mask. It doesn't sound like the post. It's not a stick. He shakes it off here, and the play will continue. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Slides it across to Kapanen. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. That goes off a twig. Moves it quickly over to Zucker. That's on the stick. The Blues take over on possession. Plus save. Beatington's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. 
Whoa, James, I'll tell you, I was on the receiving end of those, not on the giving end. Those hurt. Pittsburgh's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And that goes off a player in front. McEachern's lugging the puck. Gains the zone through center. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. You can sure tell when a player starts to press. Holds onto the puck just a little bit too long. Tries a play that really isn't there. St. Louis takes possession in the neutral zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Nice pass. On the attack along the boards. What a chance, but they still trail in this one. Still working the puck towards the net. You're still trying to get it there to get traffic there if that opportunity is there and stop. But when you miss the net, nobody can do anything about it. The backhand's a good try, but it's not dangerous enough. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. St. Louis gets a hold of it. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Sends it over. Can't connect on the pass. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Into the offensive end now. The one-timer makes the save. Cool and calm under pressure. Another look on the replay at a good scoring chance that's turned aside. The goalie's in position. Doesn't have to make a spectacular save, so it's a good one. Well past the midway mark of this period, the Blues holding down a 5-3 lead in what has been a fun one for hockey fans to watch tonight. Moves it to Thomas. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a shot. Oh, four out. It stays out. The Blues quickly started to look at the tablets on the bench to see if that puck hit the post and went in or crossed the line. It didn't, and the lead will remain the same. Sends the pass over. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. St. Louis has it in their own end. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Handles the pass at center. Cuts to the front, and there's the save. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And no luck on that pass attempt. Comes up with a monster save in front. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Great reach with the stick by Carter. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Here's a shot and the puck dies with the trapper save. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Blues lead by a pair. It's 5-3. Carter's won the draw here in the offensive zone. The Penguins carry it along the wall. They fight for it along the boards. Sends it quickly to Pedersen. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Pittsburgh's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Kapanen. St. Louis has the puck. Passes it over to O'Reilly. Oh, these are the games I love, James. You know I always talk about how much I like offense. A one nothing game's great, but these wild, high-scoring affairs, they're the most fun to call and by far the most fun to play in. 
St. Louis is on the attack. Clear it, clear Pittsburgh's it. got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Bad save. He's on it tonight. O'Reilly's got the puck along the wing. Moves inside. Great poke by Perron. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Takes a hit on the play. There's another for the hit parade. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Moves the puck. Here he is in close. Oh, what a save in front. Jarry Sharp to make that stop. Here he is on the backhand. Oh, that's got the crowd buzzing after that stop. The Penguins have it now. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance. Slides it across. Nothing doing. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Jari's been taking dangerous chances and throwing them to the curb all night. Here's another one. Carlin Bade is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. O'Reilly's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. And he regains control of the puck. Made the stop on the play. Biddington's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Dumoulin's on the receiving end of this huge hit. Sometimes you've got nowhere to go. Here in the late goings of the period, 5-3 is where we sit. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. And now it's grabbed by Buchnevich. Shen's got it on the offensive end. Slides it back to the blue line. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tries to the crease. Decides to think about it. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And he slides it quickly to Shen. Great coach and goal reach. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. They've got the defense outnumbered. And that pass can't connect. Down the right side and into the zone. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Gets a hold of the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Tarasenko. From center, they get into the attacking area. Takes a shot. Oh, and it's another save on the play. He's like a backboard in there. Bang, bang, the puck's off him twice. He makes two stops. A little disappointing for the shooter here. You take what you think is a pretty good shot, and the goalie kind of easily sticks it aside. Doesn't feel very good. Snatches the puck with the two centermen locked up. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Oh, he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. Quick pass over to Carter. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Takes the feed. And it's a quick pass to Zucker. That pass doesn't go. Shot. Misses over the net. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. We got a penalty coming up on the play as the referee extends his hand in the air. Carter's got it against the boards. Keeps hold of the puck. Here's a short pass to Zucker. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Let's see who's off to the box. The Blues are off to the box. Interference the call. 
Trying to slow the opponent down and he gets burned for it. Interference is the call. The Penguins send their man advantage unit out once more. O'Reilly's won the faceoff. And they fail to go take to take. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Well, they get the win and really control many of the small areas of the game. They were good in the faceoff. Their center ice right position is such a strength for them. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us. You've been watching Spinal King Sports, home of the NFL, NHL, and Major League Baseball.